right have and have not fans just a quick you know kind of posing the question to you all can and will hannah ever find true happiness now don't get me wrong being a christian myself yes you can find everything you need and want through the power and belief and faith in christ but at the same time you know this woman has been through a lot yes there have been plenty of signs of her being a bad mother a hypocritical christian and whatnot but you know at the same time i just wish she could find some peace it seems that every time she finds something to bring her joy finding quincy jr getting together with Derek. All of it just seems to crumble almost instantly. Like it'll take forever for her to find some form of happiness, but then she loses it as quickly as she gains it. Even worse, it's almost like, you know, well, what's the point of doing right if I'm going to lose everything as quickly as someone doing wrong? Because she does make a good point in regards to, you know, anything gotten through ill gotten gains usually ends up, you lose it if you don't work for it. And if you don't build it through you know good means you will lose something as quickly as you gain it and sometimes you lose even more than what you gain from doing evil uh, really referencing all the times candace has conned people and benny went along with her but at the same time what does hannah really have to show for everything she's done and no i'm not diminishing her being a good person let's just kind of take the christian out of it but her being a good person not taking money or just being smart like not keeping money that was gained through a con because I at some point the people will come trying to get it from you very smart but then there have been times where she's literally denied help when she desperately needs it but on top of that i'm just trying to make a quick video here i don't want to hold you too long how how would you write the perfect happy ending for hannah you know like it, it's sad she lost her grandchild at least she got candace back for now unless she goes back to her old ways or something but or if her past catches up with her and unfortunately she gets killed or something. But just let me know, how would you as a viewer come up with the perfect ending for Hannah? Not Like, I, I'm not saying that she has to get back together with Derek because obviously they have a very checkered past. But at the same time, has Hannah really been as happy with anyone else as she's been with Derek? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But with that being said, I'm going to leave the rest of this video to you all you pretty much fill in the blanks in the comment section below uh obviously she doesn't have to be a millionaire to be happy she pretty much established that but at the same time i think that she does deserve some happiness now you know lion tattoo aside you know even before the lion tattoo was revealed let's say Derek wasn't the guy at all he didn't have a tattoo i would be okay if she and Derek, you know, moved in together and just went off on their own and let everybody else deal with their own problems because she's done enough. So once again, let me know what you would write as the perfect, fair, I wouldn't say farewell, but peaceful ending for Hannah. Let me know your thoughts on that. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, $1, $5, $20. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.